که نه دنیا Mazen Abu Jaysh is among the roughly 200,000 Palestinian residents of the occupied West Bank who had crossed daily into Israel to work. But that was before October 7, 2023. In the wake of the Hamas attack on Israeli communities and the subsequent war in Gaza, Abu Jaysh and hundreds of thousands like him lost their work permits. And faced with unemployment and no end in sight to the brutal war in Gaza, Abu Jaysh has turned to these greenhouses to replace his lost income. In his village of Beit Jajan, with some fertile land and modest means available, Abu Jesh and a group of workers sought support from local authorities to launch an agricultural project in the area. This will become more common. In the end, everyone is looking for a source of income and everyone is going to farm. This will create better economic conditions, but we need marketing, and the concerned parties are working on exporting and marketing it. This year, the produce has doubled compared to previous years. The income is modest, but better than nothing, and it's benefited the area. Nasser Abu Jesh is the head of the Beit Dijan village council. People started believing in farming again, and working the land. People now are not only thinking of greenhouses, but also planting citrus trees. And to farm regularly with what is called uncovered farming, in order to earn an income. A report from the International Labour Organization this week projected unemployment in the West Bank and Gaza rising above 50 percent, with a total of half a million jobs lost. The loss of wages has compounded the economic impact of the war in Gaza and unrest in the West Bank. There is some talk of letting Palestinian workers return. Some Israeli security officials worry that the loss of earnings in the West Bank could fuel even greater strife.